Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we are going to quick play Hitman Sniper Assassins number two. Um, I guess with the new Hitman 3 game hitting on consoles, um, mobile users uh, are actually given a chance to uh, try another of the Hitman Sniper games. And I actually did enjoy the Hitman Sniper 1 game a little bit, uh, but we'll get into that a little bit more uh, as we start this off here. Um, I picked this up uh, not too, too long ago. I was playing through a little bit of it, so going into the campaign, I did unlock a couple of the uh, past the tutorial ones, the first mission, 100%, and then the next one after that. But uh, yeah, enjoying uh, what this game has to offer. You actually have your choice of uh, particular assassins, uh, whether it's, uh, I think you start off with knights and then you can collect stone or call Zack uh, doing the multiplayer rank ups uh, and then the mysterious agent 47 will be coming soon apparently. Uh, so yeah, if you get the, the number 50 up here at the top, this is sort of like your multiplayer rank. So as you go through multiplayer matches, you can rank up and unlock goodies like in-game currencies, some of your sniper companions, uh, locations, and then loot boxes for getting various gear for your assassins. Uh, but we're going to start a little bit of the uh, training sessions and uh, just to give you a flavor of what this game is about. So let's start it off and we'll start it at the very beginning. Uh, and we'll go in with Agent Stone since he's sort of of a lower rank than what I've got my knight character at. Rocky Mountains in Canada. Yay! In my backyard. Welcome to Canada. Let's begin your training. Let's start with the basics of aiming, zooming, and shooting. You are free to begin. Uh, so yeah, I'm a guy who doesn't even know how to aim, zoom, or shoot. Uh, but it does just sort of go over the basics here. So scope in. It's already lined up, so bingo bango, and it gets rid of the body, so no suspected, um, uh, no suspicion, suspicion? You're not sus. Uh, head headshots are a trait of true assassin. Let's try something more elaborate for your next challenge. Alright, let's... In the training missions, just tend to go over a couple of the uh, of the basics here, um, but that's sort of what makes this game more fun. Uh, outline objects will help you take out targets efficiently. Aim and shoot the chandelier to eliminate both guards. Let's start. So it's telling you that yeah, you have a chance here for a multi kill. So let's just do it. And it takes out both at once. So of course, chaining up situations like this gets you uh, more points, and that will be accumulated at the end. A spectacular kill. Accidental kills ensure that you remain undetected. Let's try a stealthier takedown for your next challenge. Yes, assassin boss lady. White outline objects can be also be used to lure your targets. Aim and shoot the bucket to lure the guard when you're ready. So let's zoom in here. You want to ping the bucket. He'll sort of come over. Like, what's going on? Efficient kill, he'll drop down the well and no one will be the wiser. The well 
execute a kill. Hiding bodies will ensure that you remain undetected. Let's find a new vantage point to continue. Uh, and that's a good thing I like about uh, this one. You actually have a couple of different uh, vantage points. Uh, so it's not just the same static scenario, which I think is one of my main criticisms with uh, Hitman Sniper 1. Uh, so let's just go jump back into the campaign a bit. Uh, we're going to jump ahead to uh, Contact 3. And again, we'll play with stone a little bit just to sort of go through some of these tutorials. Killing multiple guards at once is an excellent strategy to increase your score. Try killing both guards with the fire pit by luring them closer together. You are free to begin. Uh, okay, so it's more or less giving you the reins here. Let's scope in. What we want to do is... The wine bottle will get the other guard a little bit closer. Now that they're both in the blast radius... Boom. It was totally an accident, guys. Didn't mean to do that. Excellent awareness. Using lures is an easy way to group and kill multiple guards at once. Let's move on to your next challenge. Also hide your kills inside buildings to remain undetected. Let's see if you can hide both guards inside the balcony windows. Let's get started. So yeah, there's lots of opportunities to sort of do um, these types of either accidental kills or body disposals, which will increase your score at the end of the match. Thank you! Well hidden. Using windows allows you to hide your kills inside buildings. Let's see what other strated, stealthy options you have for your next challenge. Yes, let's. Another body disposal. You can also hide your kills inside bushes to remain undetected. Let's see if you're able to hide both guards inside the bushes. Let's begin. Uh, and I may have... So you got this instinct one that also sort of outlines your targets. Uh, orange being the guards and I guess red ones being... I didn't shoot. I actually put on a... <laughs> I'm not sure if I put on a... Uh, dispose one in the bush, that's fine. I guess I was only supposed to hide one in the bush. Excellent job. Body disposals can be man-made or natural. Use instinct to reveal creative kill opportunities. Let's find a new vantage point to continue. So yeah, that's the instinct button and you can use that to sort of outline your targets uh, while zoomed out, zoomed in, just to sort of get an idea of where they are. Nice. 
So that's a little bit of the tutorial. Let me go back into the actual, well, first off, let's, uh, so you have your sort of agents here and the loot that they'll collect is in terms of the rifle parts, where the first game you were collecting specific guns for various missions or tasks or whatnot. Uh, so far I've seen that you can collect these rifle parts and that's what sort of hidden in the loot boxes. You get a free one every six hours or so, um, but yeah, you can collect it based on the agents that you have uh, to sort of increase their uh, agent power. So over at the right, my agent power for night is 13. So if I'm tackling a mission that is higher than 13, then I should be doing uh, earlier missions just to sort of get up a little bit more or collecting rifle parts in order to boost my score there. Um, the uh, agents also have a rank, so they'll rank up every so often, but you'll have to collect sort of uh, agent cards in order to rank them from previous levels to the next. Uh, and I won't play a PvP match, but uh, what, uh, what these will do, from what I've seen, um, you and you're matched with another player, and I think you are sort of dropped into a scenario where uh, the one who sort of creates a higher point balance at the end of a couple of minutes is ultimately declared the winner. So they'll be getting their, uh, their, their prizes afterwards. But we're gonna go back into the campaign. Uh, and I'm going to try the second last one. I did complete the last mission for chapter one, or sorry, chapter two, I guess. Um, uh, the last mission was very fun. <laughs> it was, um, you had your targets, you had the guards, you had a bunch of pedestrians that uh, um, were sort of milling around. So they were able to sort of detect bodies if you weren't careful enough. Um, so yeah, very fun getting into the later stages. We'll do this one and then we'll see um, if we can get anywhere. Uh, and we'll actually pick Agent Stone. So the expertise also for Agent Stone just are underneath Knight, just underneath her name. Uh, she's experienced in headshots, so she'll get more points for making headshots. Uh, Stone is uh, accidental kills. So if he racks up accidental kills, uh, his points will go up. We're pretty good with the headshots for this, so let's all right, and then your objectives are laid out for you at the beginning, but you can also see them in the upper left hand corner. Uh, one of the things that I'll have to do is do two disposals over a railing. And one is giving me the opportunity. him to go closer to the railing so that he can lean over but doesn't seem to be taking the bait sometimes you just have to be patient um, the guys will sort of do their sort of walk around routines be there. So I got my two railings. I'll get a third railing at that. Uh, 
Uh, so then I just need the target. Um, one of the things I do miss from the first game, the first game had some sort of active reloading animation. Cold barrel, zero shot, registered 47. Barrel temperature nominal. Operation is live. enjoyed that it sort of added an extra element to the game. Here you just sort of press the button and the character just does their reload. And you're back in. So there's our kill. And you know what? Everybody wants to hang over a railing. Let's uh, let's finish it off. And as you can see, all your sort of objectives based on your performance are lined up, and you also even get the multiplier based on your level, uh, power rating, I guess, uh, and then a subtotal at the end, which will contribute to your stars. Uh, stars are also used in order to unlock the loot boxes. So fun stuff all around. I think we have time for one other quick one. So I'll do this one. I haven't done this before, but just to give you an idea of another location, uh, we are in Chile. Uh, so kill all targets and guards. One accidental kill with a barrier gate. Okay, well, let's see if we can do that. Uh, we're going with night. And of course, if you uh, don't perform very well, then guards will be alerted to your position. And if they start firing upon you, um, you won't be able to, uh, I guess, get away. Uh, so let's see, we have our actual... <laughs> it's the first time I've done that. Oops. Yeah, let's. I can't tell if he's in that. Oh, he might be. We're gonna see. Nope. Not quite there. He's going to be in range of this, though. Yeah. What could be in that van? You! Of course, we have... What's in this dumpster? Oh, 
nope, nope, nope. There we go, caught him just in time. So again, another accidental kill coming up. Hey, what's going on with this breaker? It's electrifying. Sorry, bad pun. <laughs> but no, like I said. Oh, come on, I did my barrier gate. Oh, come on. All right, fine. It didn't count that. I'll have to go in again and, and do it, but seriously, what? Uh, <laughs> unless there was another barrier gate that I wasn't aware of. Ah, you know what? Go in again, grab it, and get my third star to use against my loot boxes. But no, enjoying uh, enjoying the creativity for racking up uh, kills in this uh, sniper shooter game. Hitman Sniper 2. Uh, so yeah, if, uh, if you are enjoying or do enjoy some sniper games on mobile, check this one out. Uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit me up with a like, leave me a comment, let me know what your most interesting kills are, uh, and subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness. Uh, you'll just never know what I'll be picking up next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.